That's okay. So before we start, you guys, I wanted to go over how to transfer your images and about your image expectations real quick with you, okay? Okay, so first and foremost, um, one of the things that is a requirement is to get an image. So I'll be allowing some of you to go to the library to get that printed out. And if you can get it as big as possible, that's great. Okay, remember it has to be like fully <coughs> rendered image it's going to come out black and white of course if you print it from the library so hopefully you guys have other options to get it printed if you want it in color okay so you know i just used this image from a magazine i taped it on my pattern okay you're going to get a piece of graphite paper okay make sure it's on the shiny side like we talked about okay and that goes on the paper and then you're lovely example or final piece goes on that and then you just trace it right trace it with a sharp pencil or pen or color pencil it doesn't matter what you use and also keep in mind like if you want to free draw your pattern and your image you're welcome to do so um i just gave this option so those of you that are like oh i don't know if you know i can and then that is why we're going over this. All right. So I'm just quickly going over my little important parts. Okay, I think I got everything. I'm not gonna do the pattern because we already talked about that. I just wanna give you guys also an example of like how to do your um, tones and shadows with your oil pastels on your face, okay? So some of you might like want to go through it like up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Like you don't want to do that because it's not going to look three-dimensional, okay? So you want to go through like, okay, my nose is coming through here, right? And then you kind of want to go with the flow of your nose or the nose that you're going to be drawing, okay? And then, like, here's my cheekbone, right? Here's my eyeball. See how I'm not going directly up and down everywhere? Did everyone see that? Okay. And then, I'm gonna put this on the table real quick. You know, you're gonna just go over it with the next step. I'm actually kind of liking how that's coming up out. You see how that's kind of already taking form in the face? Yeah. Okay. Do, you, do you guys see how Miss J did the arm? Like, what would have been the better way to do it now that you guys have learned some stuff? Kind of like around. Yeah, like a curve, sort of the other direction, maybe to kind of showcase how round the arm is. Yeah, Does that make sense? Crazy. Yeah, so. Yeah. So notice how like where your eye is. Uh huh. Like we would just do like like a black line there, or would we like have to? Do um. So like that would be your shaded part, and that's a good question. So like since his eyes are closed, I'd probably go through that with the darker color, like you know. Yeah. Brown. Okay. So I would just come through that again. Make it a nice shadow. And then remember what she taught you guys with the baby oil as well? Yeah. Yeah, so little detailed areas Wait, like what, that. What was the baby oil? I forgot. About. The it's little a... tiny paintbrushes with a little bit of baby oil on it. But yeah, what did you, what, how did she use it again? Um, Maybe well, you want to show them again? Yeah, I can show you again. It's There's right here. One for yeah, so. Well, because of that area is so tiny. Oh, oh small area. Right. Yeah. Okay. So. You know, you're gonna get, you know, probably a small little brush like this one, right? And then you're gonna put your baby oil on a um, thing of magazine paper. And it doesn't have to, you know, it's not gonna be important. Make sure it's not your image or on the paper. Okay. Like a 
let's say like there's a little spot of white here and I just want to like move my oil pastels down word with the baby oil and get that to look completed. Does that make sense? The baby oil is really good for tiny little details. Like let's say you wanted to put eyelashes on that guy. Right. right. I would use the baby oil with a tiny little brush. Okay. Because oil pastels, they're kind of like, they're kind of rough around the edges, right? So we need little like methods like this to kind of smooth out the edges to kind of add that detail where you need it. Yeah. And like, I just used it to blend in the shadows too and like see how much better that's looking. That's looking kind of good right now, right? Just for an example. Okay. Okay, so that's what I wanted to demonstrate to you guys today on like how to make sure you use your oil pastels for your portraits, okay? So the things that I'm looking for for you to finish is definitely your skin tones should be done today, okay? And then um, I'm giving you guys until Wednesday to get me your images and to get the requirements finished in your sketchbook so we can get started. So that's your pattern, skin tones, and eye. Okay? Right. Yeah, you guys can definitely go to the library to pin on pressures. Okay, so that's all I have for you.